Oh, I missed. Hello, Drone Racers. I'm Mark, and today on Drone Racer 101, we're going to look at this again. Man, oh gosh, it's so heavy. It's the Furby Bison, the weirdest combination of parts that hopefully will be redeemed. I went looking for the most aggressive three inch props I could find. And even though I think it might fit three and a half inch props, I didn't have any of those. So I've got these. I've got the Team iFly FPV. These are 3061 props and they are wacky. Look at that. How cool is that pitch? So we're going to try these first on it to see if this more aggressive prop can make these motors actually do what they need to do to make this thing fly well. Okay, these are the 3062 props. Still not fast. Not even close to impressive. Then I've got some Racecraft jelly bean props. I don't know what's going on here. I'm sorry, I, I have no idea what this is. From the way things are laid out, I think these are probably more bot grinders niche than mine. But anyway, it's really hard to see, but these are 3076 props. Ignore what I say in the video, I didn't remember. These are 3076, super, super high pitch. There we go, look at that, that's crazy. But they're also not very wide and they're not very wide at the end so i'm not sure they'll actually do enough let's go find out see how these what are they 3072 props do oh uh yeah those are not much better need some good old-fashioned bullnose props so these are both very niche props they weren't gonna work on this somebody else posted some 35 something 3540 but they were bullnose props those might actually be a better option on this but i give up instead i'm going to plan b you remember what plan b was plan b was either give it away or crash it and test the durability of this thing and the results were pretty overwhelming and kind of surprising for me the overwhelming vote oh jeez, yeah this is just not good Oh, I missed. Did you try to crash it? Yeah. Crash it. 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 Oh! It wasn't that good of a crash. <laughs> I got it that time. So this is what I have now, and it's actually not in bad shape. The antenna took some really bad hits. There was actually one where I hit the branches that you didn't see, and that one is what wonkered up this uh, antenna. I bent one prop, and that was pretty much it. So these props are definitely durable. I can't tell if they're bent weird besides that. Actually, I didn't even notice this when I was trying to fly it because, I mean, these are so crazy already. That's not that much different. The camera seems to be broken. I got no video out of that. I broke one LED. This LED won't turn on anymore. I think the motors are fine and I couldn't get it to hover, but it may be because of this prop. I actually didn't see that when I was out there or something's messed up with the ESCs. Oh yeah, and I broke the battery connector. But overall the frame, the frame itself seems to be in perfect shape. It seems to be just fine, right? So I'm gonna call this one a loss. But I'm still going to give it away because there's no reason for me to just sit on this. I'm not going to do anything else with it, but somebody can make this fly or use these motors for parts. On a 4-inch, these would probably be pretty good motors. Nah, 5-inch. On, on a ultralight 5-inch, these may be okay motors. Okay motors. Not great motors, but okay motors. I will keep the receiver. I always need receivers. I don't know how exactly I'll give this one away. Maybe I'll do it on a live stream. I've always wanted something to give away live on a live stream, and maybe this would be a good one for that. Next month? Coming soon? Yeah, let's see. But if you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below. And don't buy one of these, but I've got a really, really good option coming very soon that's just way better than this in every way. Hopefully that makes it this week, maybe next week. I don't know. We'll see how much time I can get done. But until next time, remember...